What should I do? What should I do? <sighs> Hi, friends! I just saw the most awesomest, most amazingest, most super stupendous episode of my favorite show! Super Squids! With my friends Chip and Stacy! It was so amazing! Simona, the leader of the Super Squids, defeated Hangry Harry, the hammerhead shark. He's the Super Squids' biggest nemesis. That's an enemy. And he's always hungry. And angry. That's why he's called Hangry Harry. Anyway, it was great. But I got so excited when Simona defeated Hangry Harry that I was taking a sip of milk and some shot out of my nose! I'm not sure if Chip and Stacy even noticed, but I feel so ashamed. Have you ever felt ashamed? That's the feeling you get when you do something wrong or goofy and you feel like everyone is going to laugh at you. When I feel ashamed, my face feels hot and I get kind of embarrassed. I wonder if Simon ever squirts milk out of his nose. Well, he's a squid, so he squirts ink. And he's supposed to do that because he's a squid. And he's not real. Ah! But I am real, and I'm feeling really ashamed. I just ran and hid in my room. Stacy and Chip are probably wondering where I am. What should I do, friends? I need to think about this while we check out today's Bible story. It is time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Jonah, chapters 1 and 2. God told Jonah to go to a place called Nineveh and tell the people there to say sorry to God for the bad things that they were doing and to stop doing these bad things. But Jonah didn't really like the people in Nineveh. He thought that they were mean, and he didn't want to tell them that God wanted to give them a second chance. So, instead of going to Nineveh, he went the other direction instead. <laughs> this was not a good idea. In fact, it was such a bad idea that Jonah found himself on a boat at a sea in the middle of a big storm. All the people on the boat were so afraid because the storm came out of nowhere. But Jonah knew it was his fault. Jonah had tried to run away from God, and now he was in a terrible situation. Jonah was ashamed. That meant he felt embarrassed and guilty about what he did. He knew that what he had done was very, very wrong. So he told the people on the boat to throw him off the boat. They didn't want to, but Jonah told them that this was the only way. And so they did. And when they did, the huge storm went away. But God didn't let anything bad happen to Jonah. God used a big fish to come and swallow Jonah up. From the inside of the belly of that big fish, Jonah prayed. He told God that he felt ashamed for what he has done. He thanked God for saving him and loving him even when he felt ashamed. He promised that he would go and do the thing that God told him to do and go to Nineveh so that the people could say sorry for their bad choices and change their ways. The big fish spit Jonah up on the beach so that Jonah could go and do all the things he promised he would. As Jonah traveled to Nineveh, he knew for sure, God loves me even when I feel ashamed. God used a big fish to come and save Jonah. It shows us that God loved him even when Jonah felt ashamed for disobeying God. And God gave Jonah the chance to make things right. I think I can learn the same thing. It might be a little hard to talk to Chip and Stacy about the milk shooting out of my nose while watching Super Squids. But it will be okay. Knowing God loves me even when I feel ashamed helps me know that I'll make it through. I'm going to go talk to my friends. If you ever feel ashamed for something you've done, remember, God loves me even when I feel
feel ashamed Sometimes I feel sad 